Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a surround sound review. Today, we're going to be watching the movie Deathgasm, or known as inside the movie Deathgasm. So let's go ahead, go to the setup, and pick the 5.1 surround sound. Crank it up, sit back, and relax, and have some fun. fun time to watch in surround sound because if you're a metalhead like me to people like Behemoth, Dying Fetus, Mashuga, you know, the name goes on and on. Now, I love my metal and I listen to it a lot when I work out, but this movie is a treat for you if you love metal. And not just only metal, if you're a fan of horror, this is a good treat for you. If you love both of them, it's a win-win situation. Now with that said, let's talk about the surround sound to this movie. The surround sound was really good actually for this movie. When I was sitting there watching the movie, I actually caught myself a couple times watching it and catching myself going, yeah. The music throughout this whole movie sounded great. It was picked really well for each scene. I love the way that everything sounds. I don't want to name off certain scenes in case if you haven't seen it yet. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a couple scenes when they have these weapons. It sounds really good in surround sound when they're fighting every demon off. And not just the parts when they fight the demons off, also the vocals were really clear, easy to understand, which I was really happy and surprised about for a movie like this. I really thought when I saw the trailer, I thought that they weren't going to put much time into the sound, but man, did it blow me away. I really enjoyed this movie for surround sound, but let's talk about the vocals a little bit more. As good as it sounded when it came through the center speaker, there was a couple times I caught myself going, oh crap, I don't know what they said because their accent was so thick a couple times, I'm not used to the way that they sound, so I was just like, subtitles on, but other than that, it sounded really fantastic. I understood everything throughout the whole movie, and it was very clear. Now the fun part, let's talk about the bass. Now I'm not saying I was disappointed, but I just thought it was going to be more impacting, because when it comes to metal music, you know what I'm talking about if you listen to it in your surround sound setup, or if you got subwoofers in your car and you listen to metal, You'll know what I'm talking about when double basses kick in. It blows you away because it's just nonstop. Like, kuh, 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 kuh. And it just wasn't as impacting as I thought it would be. But it, other than that, it was fine. Now, I completely understand. You're not going to get bass from Interstellar in a movie like this because the budget's not there compared to a Hollywood blockbuster like that. But in the long run, the bass was really well, the surround sound was pretty good, and the vocals was done just right. So this is the movie for you if you're a horror geek and you're a metal fan. This is the movie that you're just going to fall in love with. Now, as I just said, if you're not a fan of metal and horror, you're not going to be into a movie like this when it comes to the surround sound setup. But if you do enjoy that, or if you don't mind it, pick this up for your surround sound setup movies. Because this is a must-buy to add to your collection. Because it's not going to let you down. As I mentioned, everything was done just right, and please don't think that you're going to get Mad Max quality sound out of a movie like this. you got to remember, the budget's not there compared to people like Mad Max, Interstellar, such as those. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this surround sound review, because every Monday and Thursdays, as I said before, I try to do surround sound reviews for you guys. And in between the surround sound reviews, I'll try my best to keep updated with you guys and show you some ideas for your surround sound setup or your home theater setup. And I'll try to do unboxings and updates of movies I get at Best Buy, Walmart, you know, stores like that. But until the next video, thanks for stopping by. You guys have a good day. And just like this movie, keep it metal.